Situation in Richwood caused us to ask, does your town have enough water? WSAZ's Curtis Johnson has been working the phones all day today, putting that question to water utilities and emergency officials across the region. He joins us tonight from our Charleston studio. Curtis. Hey, Sarah, despite the worsening drought, there is more than enough water to meet everyday needs. That is the general message that I'm getting. Many utilities telling me they get water from rivers and lakes, bodies of water that they say have ample supply. For that reason, those I spoke to in West Virginia said there is no reason for an immediate, no immediate need for a broad conservation order. Still yet, the drought is having an impact, forcing some utilities to rely on backup plans. For instance, in Kermit, the mayor saying the Tug River is lower than the town's intake, forcing it to, release, to lease a pump to retrieve water. In a hurricane, officials saying the city is relying upon other utilities to help make sure it has enough water for the town. In Rome County, the Walton PSD slowing down plant operations to maintain levels. And again, in Nicholas County, the Netty District pulling water from a backup source. An official there saying the district needs to see change over the next three weeks. In Ohio, emergency officials I spoke with there were not aware of any significant issues. In Kentucky, an official telling me those in Olive Hill are being asked to conserve water. Overall, while officials stress there is no need for panic, an ounce of common sense could go a long way, Sarah. All right, thank you, Curtis. And we're still waiting to hear back from several districts. If we hear of any conservation orders, we will pass that along.